Hey guys, it's Carly and I want to talk about the lovely Dutch translations of Harry Potter. They're just beautiful to me. The Dutch books were first published in soft cover. Ooh, and that's upside down. <laughs> All right, that's actually correct. So the Dutch books were published first in two, no, 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 no. The Dutch soft covers, these guys right here, aren't the spines great? Were first published in 1998. So they were one of the earlier Harry Potter translations that was uh, published and they're really cool. I've heard from several Dutch speakers that the translation is actually pretty good. They don't speak Dutch, so I don't know. There are some Harry Potter translations that are horribly translated. I won't go into it here for brevity. Just know that they do exist and some of them are pretty funny. So this is an earlier copy of Philosopher's Stone. And we know it's early because it doesn't have the Harry Potter font that started in about 2001 with the movie. But this is an earlier one. You can find books one through three with this earlier font. You can find the West Frisian with the very same cover art. So don't be confused if you're looking for West Frisian, it'll look very similar to this. And interestingly, the Italian translation was revised a few years ago and they used this first edition Dutch cover art. And I just think that's marvelous. And there's the back. I love that, the owl bringing Harry's letter. And here is book two. It seems like, and again, it's an earlier one because of the font here. I love Chamber of Secrets covers that have the Ford Anglia on it. You can see, it looks like Hogwarts there. They're flying into Hogwarts. I love that moment. I love when they get whomped by the Whomping Willow. And Snape's response was great. It's still not my favorite book of the series. It's my least favorite book of the series, but I love this cover art for it. It's actually probably one of my favorites. Anything that features the Ford Anglia here is probably going to be one of my top favorite covers. Least favorite book, one of my top favorite covers. I know that's odd. There's Aragog. I hate spiders of any size, let alone building sized ones. That's book three. It features looks like Harry on the Hippogriff, Big Moon, and it, the title is a little bit harder to see because of the colors used and it's also an earlier one we can tell by the font. And there's the back side. We have Scabbers down here. Well this was actually the first Dutch book I ever owned. I got it before book one and I found it on thrift books on eBay for not a lot of money. Book four. I love book four. I think it is a really interesting cover. It's one of the few that actually looks like Harry's in the second task. He's down in the Black Lake looking for Ron. I don't think any of the other ones except for the original Dutch used anything from the Triwizard stuff, but I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, say so down below. There's the back side. You know, there's so many good moments from four that they could have used, and they liked that they went with one of the tasks. Here's five. They're on the Thestrals. And there's the back side. I love the color palette used. It's very bright all the way through. I don't know who their illustrator is. I'm sure the info is in the books. I've just not looked it up. Here is book six. I always, when I first got this book, I thought it was book seven, just because of the steps and all that. It reminded me of moments, I guess, out of book seven, I don't know, like from the Battle of Hogwarts perhaps, but it's the Half-Blood Prince very noticeably on the title. I just didn't pay attention. <laughs> There's the backside. It's about to start storming here. I'm so excited. We haven't had rain in so long, so I hope it just pours. It's really freaking hot. And here's book seven. Looks like a dragon. There's the back and the spine. And I love the covers on the first edition Dutch. I think they're really well thought out and they're very different from anything else you're gonna see in the Potter books. They're very different. I would say they kind of remind me a little bit of the original German, but they're still like resoundingly different. And for those who are asking, hey, are those available in hardcover? You're correct, they most certainly are. The first hardcover Dutch, I love these. The colors are just, they pop. Like, they're so vivid. And there's the back. It's just like the soft cover. They just, 
the colors are more vivid anyway the hardcovers came out in 2000 that with the release of book four before then there weren't any hardcover dutch books so you're not going to have any of the dutch books the, any of the hardcover dutch books with the earlier print or the earlier front cover font the boards look at that i love that it's just so marvelous Ta-da! And then in 2011, these beautiful candy colored things came out and I fell in love with them. Again, I love how different the Dutch covers are comparatively to the rest of the Harry Potter covers. And don't get me wrong, I love those too, but these are just such a nice addition to the cover art collection, right? So I saw this book on eBay probably six years ago. And it was just a stock photo and I had to have this book. I thought it was just beautiful with the red and the clouds. I thought it was so different and it was so beautiful. And then it came and it was, it was perfect. And the pockets, they're smaller than the, than the other books that we saw. I'll even show you. You can see this is sizably, you know, shorter and it'll fit better in like a book bag or whatnot so maybe they're trying to get this other kids who haven't read harry potter maybe they wanted to do something a little bit more adulty for growing professionals or people in college who wanted to read the harry potter books but didn't want to carry big massive heavy books around because the original dutch are kind of heavy because they are big regardless whoever came up with this idea i'm a fan book two and we have the snake skin i and then i think book two is wonderfully designed and then we have the basilisk eye up here very sneaky and creepy then we have book three we have the walls of azkaban i think that's great it's just so fun Ooh. backside book four we have the maze i love that they did the maze again they picked a very important moment from the book but they picked one that's not usually covered in cover art and they went with a beautiful green maze and book five i think that is so cool but it's the order of the phoenix i mean it fits the book and green lettering it's beautiful and it goes so well next to the flocked fox funko pop oh my goodness you guys and six book six made me so sad so it's just not a favorite it got so heavy and dark and book seven i just i love these covers i think they're beautiful look at these i know carly we just saw them but these are the hard covers you guys it's super cool and they come in this super cool box that matches the covers on the back it says 20 years of magic it's their big 20th year box set you can only get them as a box set and from my understanding it was pretty limited and they were fairly hard to get i had to wait till amazon carried them i could not get them through the link provided by the publisher which was such a letdown i feel like the illustrations look just so much better in big bold hardcover and the beautiful end papers you can very clearly see this is so much smaller and two Look at that. That's it for all the Dutch books that I currently have, but I'm planning on finishing out the hardcovers. I only need four more. Make sure to check out my 31 days of giveaways. I've got some great things to give away to you guys. We're celebrating my birthday month for the rest of August. And if you have any questions about collecting Harry Potter books, make sure to ask before you spend your hard-earned money. I don't mind helping you out. You can find me here on YouTube, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook. You can find me through my website or you can just send me an email. I'll pull all that info down below. With that, I'm going to say thanks for watching and happy collecting.